The launch of Europe's new heavy lifting rocket Ariane 6 has been delayed from French Guiana. The first commercial mission aimed to put a French military satellite into space. For more on this story, we can uh, go across uh, to our guest standing by in the city of uh, Toulouse, Olivier Sangi. Thank you uh, so much for joining us uh, on the program today. Why uh, this delay this Monday? Uh, the delay, uh, well, I'm trying to have an information about the delay. Maybe the, the meteo, you know, it's not unusual to have a delay about a launch. If anything is not right, you don't launch. As we say in space, better safe than sorry. And do not forget They're that saying the delays has been caused due to anomaly uh, on the ground. What does that mean exactly? Oh, it's a ground segment then. I mean, it's all the installations that support the launcher. And uh, they did have a previous delay with the same, not exactly the same uh, ground segment, but the ground segment. So maybe something is not yet ready. Do not forget that's only the second launch. So the team needs in, in sort to know the launcher. It's a new launcher. So it's not unusual to have that sort of delay on the new launcher. And this, of course, is not good news for Europe's space industry as it uh, competes with the United States and, of course, in the wake of Elon Musk's SpaceX. So clearly this is a setback, isn't it? Well, the setback would have been the failure of launch. Mm. And uh, as there is a delay, there is no failure. You know, a delay is uh, far more preferable than a failure. Mm. As I said, better safe than sorry. I, I won't say it's a setback. I mean, it's a new launcher. So that's not a problem to have a delay with the first flight. After the operational will be uh, best. Uh, I mean, no problem for me. It's not. It's not unusual, really. Uh, what is this military satellite that is going to be launched into space? What exactly is it? What can you tell us? Well, uh, simply it's what was what called the spy satellite. You know, it's a Earth observation satellite to have information about what is going on the ground, and it's the third one. And that's where you see that Ariane 6 is a very useful tool because Europe doesn't have to ask anybody else to launch its own satellite. Olivier, thank you. We're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us on the program today. Thank you.